I'm doing a BA LLB uh, five year course from Army Institute of Law. It's a Army College uh, situated in Mohali, Chandigarh. And currently, well, if not for the pandemic, I would have been in my fourth year. But there's a little doubt still remaining over that. So yeah, I think for safe purposes, we can say I'm in the fourth year though. Yeah, from Army Institute of Law. Okay, so uh, originally I had inducted myself in the introduction to legal drafting course. The reason why I did this was actually, um, so I was in the June batch for this course. And before I enrolled in this particular course, I was very conflicted as to whether I want to get into litigation or whether I want to get into corporate law. So I actually had a telephonic conversation with the Ramanud sir. And, you know, he suggested that I should try a criminal advocacy uh, the course on criminal advocacy that they have. But before I could completely determine that this is exactly what I want to do, I wanted to get a little taste of what exactly would I be engaging myself in if I do get into litigation. So the reason I went into the league introduction to legal drafting course was I went through the syllabus and I saw that they, you know, deal with a variety of things, not only criminal, but they teach you civil litigation, criminal litigation and contract drafting as well. So just to gain a little bit of experience and to taste the or various aspects that are there in the legal field. That's the reason I chose this particular course. And it has been extremely helpful, to be honest. I'll get to that later if you have further questions for that. And other than that, I was also enrolled in a two-day workshop that um, you had conducted how to get a job in a law firm. Even that was extremely helpful. So yeah, these two courses. When I initially enrolled in the course, you know, we received a welcoming email and there was a disclaimer in the email stating that not a lot of people are that are comfortable with the teaching style of law seco, but you know, they affirm that you have faith in our learning style and it, that it genuinely works. So I was, you know, a little curious as a, about exactly what they're talking about. So when our classes first started and we received our first assignment, okay, so I'll explain the mechanism, how it works. So we have a learning mechanism system and we have an assignment portal. And we have weekly classes, or in fact, we almost had them daily class, daily Zoom classes, where the concept is taught to us. We are told how to draft particular things. And in the assignment portal, we have a particular assignment that we have to draft on the particular topic that was taught on the previous Zoom meeting. So the kind of subjects that I was taught in my introduction to legal drafting course was we started with the civil litigation, or criminal litigation. So first we were uh, explain what exactly criminal revision and criminal appeal are. And okay, so the best thing about Law Seco is, so um, the founders of Law Seco, they went on this journey to create Law Seco because they realized there are a lot of lacks and falls in the current legal education system and they wanted to cover that. The main thing that Law Seco teaches you is the practical aspects of things. Theory is something that they teach you definitely, but that is not their main emphasis. Their main emphasis is that when you go out after graduation, when you step into the legal world, you have an understanding about how exactly things go around in a law office or a chambers or in a court. They teach you not only this is the article, this is the case law, this is the theory, but they teach you how, how exactly do you apply all of this knowledge in the real life situation. And when you're drafting a contract or when you're dealing with any particular client, with the police or with the partner or whatever, so with this particular thing in mind, the things that they taught us was basically the assignments were kept in this particular purview that we were basically given a small facts of the case and we were supposed to draft something on those particular lines as we were taught uh, on the Zoom meeting. And another great thing about Law Seco is that number one, you have, I have a um, one year subscription to it. So whatever material they have provided on their elements is available to me for one year, which includes all the templates of the things that they are teaching us. So in the future, if I still have any doubt about drafting, I can obviously open up the LMS site and I can check out the template, be it of civil litigation or criminal appeal, revision, whatever. So yeah, we started with criminal uh, litigation, criminal appeal and criminal revision. First, this concept were taught to us. Right. So after criminal appeal and revision, we went to uh, crim how to file a criminal complaint with the police station in case they're not filing an FIR. In case the police still does not file an FIR after filing a criminal application, then how do you proceed further by filing a criminal complaint to the magistrate? We were also dealt with how to, we were also taught how to deal with police in the first instance, that if someone has been caught by the police doing something, I have been caught, my friend has been caught, the police are mistreating someone, how in that situation, 
we were taught how exactly to go around in a court situation how court piece is done the importance of court clerk and all the sort of work that goes into a particular case before the trial even starts when you're actually just submitting your application all the things that you have to keep in mind a checklist that you have to prepare of list of dates of summary uh, of the memo of parties vakalat nama affidavit everything was taught to us uh, by ms ruchika motwani actually in the explicit details uh, after criminal litigation then we further went on to civil litigation where we were taught how to draft a plaint and a written statement we were taught how to draft a writ petition in the high court and again theory comes they were also taught the theory about all these particular concepts that i'm talking about but of course the main emphasis was on the practicality and the drafting uh, uh, aspects of the matter after civil litigation then we went on to contract drafting we were taught the most basic concept of uh, most basic contracts that a company might require so we were taught the memorandum of understanding what exactly is that how is it different from a letter of intent we were taught uh, what is a franchise agreement what is a non disclosure agreement how to draft the same employee agreement and an event management system and so at the end of this particular entire course we were also given one particular article to draft this about 100 1500 words law seco itself provides you with the topic and you have to draft an article and if they like it then they also you know give you the privilege of getting it published on ip leaders their blog as well so it's been a really great experience because i have learned a lot now the thing is when i was enrolling in the law seco course i re- i realized that you know the price about is not the same as the other courses so i was a little skeptical but if anyone will be watching this i want to like make it very clear to them that what you're paying for in this particular course is not just a theoretical knowledge you're paying for a complete infrastructure that has been built uh, in the uh, in the sense of this legal education system uh, so in other than this particular education that law seco imparts they also give you other uh, they also provide you with other infrastructure in order to build yourself in order to build your career in a sense so i other than my particular course whatsapp group i was also included in two other groups one was a webinar group so another great thing is that law seco holds daily webinars uh, on various aspects about all the things that you can find in the legal education in the legal field with a lot of experts i think they host about two or three webinars very helpful webinars every day and the second thing is also they have another whatsapp group about uh, internships and job opportunities So another great thing about Law Seco is that it caters to a lot of people. So I'm in my fourth year. In my course itself, I had people who were from in the first year, in the second year. I had people who had already graduated and were already working. So the kind of education that they impart is not a just you know a very specific aspect of it. It's a wide umbrella to make sure that everything is encompassed for all people and all uh, age categories. And other than that, they also provide you a lot of assistance with your CV building and your article writing. so in the course that i have a lot of other things are included in that in, the, in that particular package and that was one how to build my cv how to prepare for an interview what exactly to do in an internship how to get that ppo how to crack the ppo interview and other than that we are also having zoom lessons and other recorded uh, sessions about how exactly to draft a very good article that uh, up to that part that it gets published on a very esteemed journal So yeah, overall, it's been a great experience, and I really couldn't have asked for anything else.